guys, it's Di from Be Mommy With Style and today we're gonna do another fun party day here at the house. And today's activities are gonna be all about Mickey Mouse. So, so we're gonna put on our mouse ears and do some fun Disney themed crafts, do some different activities here at the house and then watch Mickey Mouse Club and some Mickey shorts. Just for fun today, it's our spring break week. We are doing different parties every single day this week and we'll be sharing all of those. So come with us today as we have some Mickey themed fun. I have a few fun decoration things left over from previous birthday parties that we've had with the Mickey theme. So we're gonna be using those today, doing some Mickey crafts, having some Mickey snacks, and just having some general Disney fun. So Natalie is over here drawing some Mickey and Minnie poster decorations. What you working on right now, Natalie? A mini poster. Mini poster, these will go perfect with our Mickey party. One of the first activities that we're gonna do, I just used some poster board to make these and very obviously hand drew them. You could use something to make the outline of the circles if you wanted to, but we're just doing this for fun, so I thought I would go ahead and just do this fairly quickly. We had these big pieces of white poster board, so I just cut them in half to try to conserve them as much as possible. Then I drew an outline of toodles, that's what that is, on that side, so the kids can color it in, and there's four areas for different tools. Then they need to say what each of the tools is over here and they're gonna explain like why that tool was useful so I'm really interested to see what tools they come up with and why they thought that that particular item would be a good tool to have from Toodles so this is gonna be our first activity and I'm expecting it to be pretty interesting <laughs> we put Natalie's decorations up on the wall Yay, there's a mini, mini. And we have ears over here that the girls can wear. There's some Star Wars ears. Natalie's got some Zoom Zoom ears. We've got plenty of ears, obviously. Okay, so we are starting on our Toodles project. They're going to come up with a couple different items here, and then they can color in their Toodles project. Here are your The first tool is. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. Car. Broom. Broom. Broom, broom. <laughs> and. <gasps> oh, it's Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Here are your tools. Here are your tools. The first tool is a pizza, a car, a broom, and a carpet. The carpet. It's for the car. Pete steals your car. And then you go past, and then you're hungry because it's lunchtime. You get a pizza for everyone. Uh huh. You're getting Mickey Mouse. And then, oh no, there's leaves in the road. You have to sweep them off me. Okay. And then, thunder and Pete drop holes in the roof. Oh no. Oh no, how are you going to fix it? You have to get a carpet. A carpet that you put over the road? Work. Your car's gonna fall through the holes. <laughs> it's too heavy. Okay, anyway. Mass, mass, mass. Physics. Okay, Mickey Mouse and his friends are acting out World War II. Okay. Machine gun, that's actually a Nerf gun because we don't want to hurt people because be 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 A shovel, because we can dig a ditch and that's nice. Medicine, because there's rats and and, and then there's fleas on the rats, and then that's bad. And then there's also there's so standing in water for so long you get sick. And the mystery mask tool, which is actually an invisibility cloak, because the allies are losing. So we sneak up on them. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? The outlet. Ah! All right. There we go. I'm acting out. You're, yeah, you all are acting out, all right. And actual show. Actual show. <laughs> so there's tons of different uh, printables that you can print off online. I got these code breaker sheets, and I'll um, try to link these down below. These are all from Teaching Squared free printables. So I printed off two of all of these for the girls to do. We'll do a couple of these and then take a break real Natalie's quick. Natalie's going to do a word search. Is We've got me? word search. Is there me? I think that I have one I can print out. There's code breaking. I don't do code breaking. There's a... 
close enough to a maze. There you go. There's a Mickey connect the numbers. Names in alphabetical order. So we're going to do some of these activities. And then after we're done with that, I have some wood cutouts. Again, just sourcing from things I have in the house. And these are for making the wood bead garlands. But I thought this would be fun for the kids to do as a craft activity. They can decorate these however they want. And they're cute little Mickey shapes. And then we can clip these onto a... Um, Mom, could you do this? A clothespin, and they can make this either a picture holder or a bookmark with those. So we're going to do that after we get done with these. I'm going to take a picture of them and cut it out as Mickey. <laughs> so we'll do some of these activities, and the girls have just finished up coloring in their doodles. And we're also having a quick snack of some fruit and Mickey-shaped goldfish. There is your snack. It's looking nice and colored in. Yum, yum. So these guys are finishing up their different worksheets that they're working on. And after we're done with that, I'm going to let them decorate these Mickey cutouts or these mouse cutouts that I had already had around the house. And then I had a bag of clothespins, so we're going to be able to do two different things. They have strings in their rooms where they have artwork hanging. So they can decorate this and I can hot glue it on the clothespin so it opens up at the bottom where they can have an artwork hanger that they decorated. Or if you don't have, you know, an art string in their rooms and you want to do something else different but you have clothespins, you can reverse it so the clothespin stands up like this and the pincher is at the top and decorate it this way and you can make it like a picture holder. So that way you can display a picture from one of your trips or maybe a countdown sheet or something like that. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to let the girls pick whether they want to do a picture holder with the clip at the top or if they want to do like an artwork clip where the pincher is down Mom, at the what bottom. What after M? M? Yeah. N? Okay. So Isabella is doing a rainbow striped Mickey. Are you doing it in any certain order, Isabella? Um, it's a pattern. <laughs> it's a pattern. <laughs> okay, well she's a fourth grader. And um, she can decide which way she wants these glued on there. And then Natalie's finishing her sheet and she's going to start decorating her Mickey. So Natalie has opted for some blue with some swirls on there. Swirl and, and mom didn't say swirls when she told me what pattern I was. No, I just gave you some options to choose from. Swirls was a good choice. I love swirls. And horses. I like, but my favorite thing the whole white girl is Harry Potter. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. So Natalie is opting to have hers as a picture stand, so I'm going to glue hers like this. And Isabella is opting to have hers as an artwork holder, so hers will be like this. And for dessert tonight, we have some Mickey-shaped treats. We are ending our day watching Mickey Mouse Club. I would, I, we were gonna watch it earlier, but we didn't get around to it till now.